Good evening, everyone. I would like to congratulate the following uh, fellow colleagues who are all winners tonight. You know, the real event which everyone's waiting for. And I would just take a few minutes to share some thoughts over my journey in the last 17 years, what I've learned and seen and evolved. Um, you know, it's very nice to be here. I want to thank Exchange for Media, Dr. Anurag Batra. It's his birthday today. I want to wish him a very happy birthday from the platform as well. Uh, E4M has been an entity which uh, I hold very dearly because when I entered the media space about 17 years ago, uh, you know, not only as a company, but uh, even as an individual, they were very kind and helpful in showing me the ropes of the industry and uh, guiding. But uh, since today is a very important day for all of you, I'd like to, you know, just start by saying that, you know, as we honor the dedication and commitment to stories that need to be told, the media landscape is changing. And I have seen it evolve in the last 17 years. There have been several challenges, but certain core points remain. Immediacy and urgency can never be replaced. And I strongly believe in that. Many speakers before me were talking about it, that the immediacy and urgency of news, it, that is the nature of the product. While entertainment, music, you know, people can watch at leisure when they want, how they want, where they want. But when it comes to news and sports, the main nature of the product is not replaceable. Because when the news happens, you want to watch it there and then. I think, you know, I'm very often asked this question, what will be the media landscape in the next five to 10 years? It is anybody's guess, but there are some patterns which we can see. The consumption of news and content with availability of data has changed remarkably. I think everyone present here will agree. Today, content creators sitting in their offices or even from their homes are making rapid strides in media and are the biggest challengers to mainstream media today. It is important to get one thing right, that what is, that is what our consumers want. We need to understand changing consumers of news and also whether he or she wants variety of content. They want authentic content and content which is reliable in the era of social media, broadcast, print, and digital media, retain far more significance since the viewers still want authentic news, which is based on facts, and we need to present them with their facts as our viewers are evolved enough and can make their judgments on their own. We also need to understand that today is the era of highly localized news, the hyper-local news as we like to call it. People want to know what is happening in their city, in their immediate neighborhood, in and around them. That explains the mushroom of independent media entities in different cities across India, and they also want to take control of their own narrative. It is the narrative that has always been led by traditional media entities. And now the independent content creators and independent media entities, digital media entities, want to set the narrative of news. The biggest threat of traditional media faces is from the independent content creators, but it is their ability to fill the gap, which is something that we must look at. The ability to understand the evolution and change in viewership patterns is something which, allows, which will also allow us to expand and excel and look at what are we doing incorrectly. With coming off AI, there is no denying the fact that it has been an enabler and will completely transform the media industry in many ways. We don't understand right now, but in, it is a significant development and something we must watch out for. AI power tools can create articles, videos, graphics, voice assistance, enable hands-free consumption of media. So in more ways than one, it will be an assistive tool if it is used in a positive manner. The evolution of media from newspapers to our AI-driven platform showcases the transformative power of technology. Each phase has brought a unique ways of connecting people, shaping opinions, and delivering content. As content creators and producers, we must realize we are at the cusp of an evolution and must understand that people will only pay for content when they get gratification. Let's the example of New York Times or The Economist or any other international entity which has tried to go behind a paywall and has tried to take the subscription route. You know, the problem is that until unless the viewers and the subscribers don't value your content, they will not pay for it. And that is a problem that has been faced not only by Indian broadcasters or publishers, but is a problem faced globally by broadcasters and publishers. Hence, I feel the future is investing in IPs, communities, as a way to start to stay relevant and stay connected to our audiences. I'd like to share a small instance with you. Recently, the ITV network concluded a two-day festival of ideas in New Delhi. 
where authors, politicians, writers, thinkers, influencers, journalists, and legal luminaries spoke. They spoke of different ideas of India. We had people who questioned and critical of the reporting of media networks across the spectrum. But the very fact that they were speaking on a platform of mainstream media network in a festival of ideas, a testament to our resilience and commitment to provide a platform to all kinds of ideas, no matter how critical of us they are. That itself shows that mainstream media is based on a system of checks and balances, is based on a certain value system, which still is relevant than ever before. Recently, we saw the Chandrayaan-3 moon landing is something we experienced a few days ago. It reminds me of a similar event in 1969, when the first moon landing, it was a watershed moment and televised worldwide. It was coming together of the entire human race to watch a historic event and see what it meant for, to, for a man to go where no man had gone before. We very recently saw a similar instance in India, in India's history, with the landing of Chandrayaan-3, where the entire nation, irrespective of caste, color, creed, religion, what section of society, not south, east, west, everyone came together to celebrate the spirit of nationalism. That is what television does. That is what television still brings and means to us. Similarly, we saw the credibility of media networks during the corona crisis, which, which comes once in a century. The role of traditional media was applauded and appreciated across the globe in unison because it was time which demonstrated how a system of checks and balances in the most adverse circumstances for humanity, which we've seen, works. Media was the only source of credible information in the era of WhatsApp universities and social media narratives, false narratives, I should say. For all those whose legacy media was over, they must understand the credibility and responsibility of traditional media transcends time. In a digital dispensation, which was of many challenges, it acts as an enabler at the same time because it rids us of restrictions of reach in traditional media in print and television. In some sense, it prov provides an equitable platform that allows us to focus on the content and improving its quality. In the digital era, content is the main driver and brings everyone on an equitable platform. May the best content win. Many people ask, what is the future of the industry? I would like to say to them, in the words of Jack Ma, today is difficult. Tomorrow is even more difficult, but day after is beautiful. The problem is most people die tomorrow evening. What I mean to say, the future of media is and will always remain bright, despite of technology, despite of adversity, despite of criticisms, disruptions and negativity. I think I'm an optimist and I've, I've seen this industry go and evolve over the last 17 years, being a part of it. My takeaway is that news is here to stay. It is not going to go away. Unlike the naysayers or people who are pessimistic about it, I think the very fact that news allows you to express your opinions the way you can and the way you do is what distinguishes us from the other mediums. So I have, uh, with not taking a lot of time, you know, we are at ITV Network with a very young and a vibrant team striving to achieve that always. And that's a quality which our entire team of editors imbibe in them. I would like to thank once again, uh, I would like to congratulate all the winners and also those who didn't make it. These wins are very important for us in the industry. Uh, we've always all, we've seen ourselves at the other side of the spectrum many a times, winning it or missing it. But it's the, the thought and the spirit that counts. Uh, once again, a congratulations to E4M, uh, Dr. Anurag Batra, Nawal, and the entire team. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak.